But back in the day, guys ribbed you all the time, so you never, you never knew what was going to happen. I, mean, I think it was the Brooklyn Brawler got locked in a bathroom one time for like five hours on a bus trip, and I think we're in the UK. You know, you always went to the bathroom on the bus, and you'd stick your heel in the door where they couldn't close the door completely. Because if they did, they would duct tape it. They'd put, you know, they, they, you'd be in there the rest of the trip. And that's what happened to Brawler. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, I always hear, like, you know, rib stories, and different stuff. I think they're hilarious. I love, like, stuff like that is, is great. You were a big ribber? Or were you a, a part of, like, you know, doing some big ribs? I, yeah, I enjoyed them. I loved them. I, I, and I didn't mind them being pulled on me. I, I just, I enjoyed entertainment. And so, you know, I enjoyed the elaborate ribs. I didn't enjoy, you know, I never wanted to want to, you know, uh, tear up a, a personal gear or something. I didn't think that was a rib, I, but you know, the, the, the big ribs, you know, the, the, I always enjoyed doing, we had a uh, big, I've told this story before we had big show one time we're overseas. And as he's coming out, it's me and Kurt Angle in the ring and his music's playing. And in the middle of it, it's, Hey, now I'm an all-star. And Kurt Angle says, what is that? I said, that's Shrek's theme music. <laughs> 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 That's the kind of rib I loved. I, I enjoyed. Yeah. I, I thought they were fun. It, it was uh, fun to me. You always hear you know, stories it wasn't of fun guys. beat me up for the next fifteen minutes, but it was fun. Uh, oh, yeah. It was fun. It was fun when he got real mad, red faced. I was gonna say you always hear stories of, of just you know, fun ribs. Like could, could be Owen and it could be Bulldog. Like just fun stuff. But I always get a crack at it with those things. Just they're you know, they're not really hurtful. They're just something funny to pass the time or to you know make everybody on a long tour give everybody you know like a little pop or you know a little smile for being on a, a long trip. Yeah, that's how you know guys got bored. You know we didn't have the internet. We didn't have cell phones. We had just had each other. You know, and so we didn't get a call home very often. It was just us on the road. And, you know, you didn't have the proliferation of cable TV like you have now. And so when you got to the hotel, everything's pretty much dead. You know, sports games are over. And there's not much to watch. And so guys just were craving entertainment. And that's how a lot of those ribs started. You know, I never enjoyed the the ribs. And th thankfully, I never got it done to me. Uh, you know, the cutting of the ponytails or the loss of the eyebrows. Yes. Which I always figured they'd get me with the eyebrow, but I, nobody ever got me. So I was... I was happy about that. And I wasn't one that would, would do that because I didn't want that done to me. 